Everyone hates sorting Lego. So over the past two years, I've been developing a brand new artificial intelligence powered sorting machine that can take the human element out of sorting altogether by recognizing almost 3000 different types of Lego part. And I call it the universal Lego sorter. So let's see how it works. The machine is built from over 10,000 Lego bricks. It's powered by six Lego motors and nine servo motors. The machine can sort any Lego part from its input bucket into 18 different output buckets at a rate of about one brick every two seconds. I was inspired by two other Lego sorting machines that have been built in the past. In 2011, Akiyuki built the first ever brick sorter that was capable of recognizing a large number of pieces. And in 2017, Jacques Matiege demonstrated the first ever use of AI to sort Lego parts. The universal sorter is the next step in this line of evolution. The reason I'm calling it universal is because it is capable of recognizing any Lego part that has ever been produced, even parts the machine has never seen before. It works by using an artificial intelligence technique called a convolutional neural network. The network learns how to recognize Lego parts by training on realistic 3D images. This means it can develop a knowledge of any Lego part for which there's a 3D model available. And this is the first time something like this has ever been done. So the Lego sorter has three major components, which all solve different problems. The first problem is how do we take this huge bucket of parts and get exactly one part at a time to show the camera for sorting? We need a part separation system. The input bucket has a belt that slowly pushes all the parts onto a secondary belt which then feeds parts onto the vibration feeder. The vibration feeder uses Lego's most insanely fast motor and an offset weight to shake the parts around so they don't sit on top of each other. Using three stages like this gives a pretty consistent flow of parts into the next section, the scanner. The scanner is where the camera takes streaming video footage of the parts under a light. The video gets processed by the Raspberry Pi computer and then images get sent wirelessly to a more powerful computer that is able to run the neural network to classify the parts. The result of this classification gets sent back to the sorting machine, and now that it knows what the part is, it can sort it into an output bucket. The distributor uses a series of gates to direct parts to the appropriate bucket. There are 18 buckets in total, each for different types of part categories. If you're interested in learning more, I've recorded another video about artificial intelligence and how I use it to develop a neural network that the machine can use to classify Lego bricks. This project wouldn't be possible without the use of some incredible open source hardware and software like TensorFlow, Raspberry Pi, the LDRAW part library, and the Rubricable part database. Thanks for watching.